So now we spun down, we've, we've drawn this young man's blood here. And after we do the blood, we spin the blood down. It's spun down differently from the way blood is spun down for PRP. Notice that it's a little cloudy because this not only contains growth factors, but also contains cells, platelet cells, white blood cells, uh, and also it contains a small number of stem cells. And stem cells have the ability to turn into whatever kind of cells you're injecting them into to help repair and rejuvenate that part of the body. Literally, I use stem cells from head, for hair restoration to toe, and parts in between uh, for both men and women to help restore more normal function in tissues and, and a healthier um, uh, tissue in the particular area where I'm injecting. In this particular case, we're going to be injecting this young man's face here to help improve the skin, to help with a little bit of the hollowing underneath the eyes. I've already drawn off the PRF from this one. I'm going to draw it off from the other one. And as you see, I'm drawing off the platelet-rich plasma, PRP, plus fibrin and stem cells, which PRF doesn't have, I mean PRP doesn't have, but PRF does. So what does that mean in practical terms? It means that not only do you get all the growth factors of PRP, but you also get stem cells as well. And you get platelets and cells, not just the platelet growth factors. And those cellular elements lead to much better um, rejuvenation of the tissues. I'm just going to switch this big needle out for a little small needle that we're going to be injecting through the skin. I've done a dental block so that uh, the upper part of the face is fairly numb, that the patient is going to feel more comfortable. I'm simply going to use a little needle, like so. You can go ahead and relax here. Okay, I'm just going to make a little needle stick right here in the skin. Right there, the needle's already in. I stretch that a little bit like that. Okay, feel a little pressure here in the area. Okay. Um, the cannula is in place underneath the skin and the nice thing about the cannula is that it has a little round tip on it so that it's less prone to causing bruising. Okay, So I'm just going to attach the PRF to that and start injecting. How are you doing? It's not too bad, huh? You should feel some pressure in the area. Is it hurting? A little bit? I feel it. Okay. We're almost done on this side. I'm going to inject this a little bit more medially here. Okay. I'm going to feel this just a little bit more. You'll feel the pressure here. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, shall I tell? Mm -hmm. If you can come over here and just hold pressure in this area. I sure can. in that general area all the way up here to the nose. No, just not firm, just gentle. And then we're going to go over here to the opposite side. This was the worst side. And over here you're going to feel just a little stick here. There we go. And a little pulling on your skin. The cannula is already underneath the skin. And I'm going to start injecting over here in this area. You feel a little pressure here, a little pressure. You're doing great. Take a deep breath and just you know, advance the cannula a little bit more over here. it to this part of the face here. You're doing so good. You're doing really, really good. Okay, Chantal. So we're going to hold pressure over here on this side. Okay. And I'm going to put the last little bit that I have. It's going to hold pressure in this area here. And I'm going to put the last little bit that I have on the other side, which is the side that needed a little bit more attention. Feel a little, a little push here. You're going to feel a little pressure here. You ready? Take a deep breath in. You feel a little pressure here in this area. You feel a little pressure over here. Okay. Deep breath in. I'm just going to tap a little bit here as I advance it. Take a deep breath. Excellent. Take another deep breath in and deep breath out. We're all done. <laughs> you did great. Are you having any pain or discomfort right now? Now that I'm not messing with you. Are you okay? Doing great. Okay. Now bring your head forward for me a little bit. 
Okay, open your eyes up again. There we go. Okay, open your eyes wide. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, and close your eyes and relax. Rest your head back down. So what I've done here is <clears throat> I've put PRF into the tear trough area. It does two things. It's going to restore volume to the area and it's going to help rejuvenate the thin skin in that portion of the eye. So that's a, a nice alternative to fillers. Filler is only going to last you for a year or so. Sometimes I mix the PRF with fillers. Many times, like in this case, I'm using it all by itself to have a little bit of temporary volume but to have a long-term uh, tightening and rejuvenating of the thin skin underneath the eyes to help minimize lines and wrinkles and also to help prevent or retard the hollowing underneath the eyes in the tear trough area where fillers are commonly used. Okay, So that is PRF. Once again, the advantage of PRF over PRP is that the PRF, sometimes called PRFM, contains fibrin. Fibrin is what causes blood to clot. When you introduce the fibrin, along with the growth factors of PRP, the growth factors stick around longer. But guess what? The fibrin also helps cells, because not just the platelet-rich plasma of PRP, but we're also injecting cells, platelets themselves, as well as stem cells into the area that actually help to rejuvenate the area. This is facial rejuvenation with your own tissues, using your body's own repair mechanisms to help keep you looking younger.